Hey guys, it's your boy. We're back with more multi content today. We're talking about the Red Hulk and Odin rework slash some of the updates that actually are gonna be coming into the game very very soon in the short period of probably four days, as it seems. And the reason why I'm saying this is actually you go to Play Store. You just go to Play Store, search for Marvel Future Fight. When you tap on that, you will see this uh, event logo, this reminder: all uniform sale event in progress, Tier Three Odin, new Odin and Red Hulk uniforms. All all uniforms 40% off during the event and the event begins in four days I have set the reminder you guys also should set the reminder so the play store will give you the notification definitely it is looking like a mid-month kind of patch although I'm still not sure they are doing any update uh, regarding the Odin so it's definitely not gonna be an Asgardian update at least for now at least it looks from this page it is just gonna be for mid month patch for T3 Odin new Odin uniform and new Red Hulk uniform and we have been talking about the Red Hulk uniform and the Odin uniform for some time since the update drops since actually the pre-update ap get dropped and the live stream as well because we can see we can go into the story mode the all war this is exactly the how the all war looks like this is exactly how it looks like and he looks amazing he looks really really great in this uniform and the animations from the skills look really great which i think also considered silence it uh, it has silence in the at least in the boss fight it has some uh, uh, burst of lightning damage and i think kind of like elemental damage mixed in some to on some of the attacks so i prefer i my, i have some doubts and i i actually have some expectation what route they will go for odin actually odin because i think odin is gonna be more of a hype than red hulk of course he was the number one character chosen for rework and we are getting the river we are getting the uniform so the uniform actually in terms of in terms of the gameplay and in terms of the value you guys remember if you guys have been playing for some time since odin came out when odin came out and actually after for some time he was abx meta he was pvp meta and then he dropped off right this is this is actually the normal way that uh, character happens although gene and thanos have been in the meta for so so long and they are not going to be dropping anytime sooner although odin can now have an opportunity the opportunity is going to be to be meta in both sides of the both sides of the coin because uh, on the flip side of the coin you have abx that he can do but although definitely he does not have any value in abx because captain marvel then we have silver surfer we have a lot of uh, options now for the pvp he has a real real good chance to be actually better than every single character in this game if they decide to do it so depends on how they are going to be reworking the uniform it is all going to depend on the uniform more than the actually stat boost to be honest the stat boost can actually contain some healings i doubt that they will contain some healings but although you would you know that he has the debuff lead which was actually one of the best leads in the game at one point in the game it's still one of the best leads in the game because of the debuff removal and the all resistance 30 percent which actually give you 30 percent uh, more resistance to attack whatever uh, damage you are taking fire damage elemental damage or the normal damage physical damage ele elemental damage or electrical damage sorry not electrical energy damage so it gives you that and then we have odin's decree and i think there was odin force i think there was something immune to cancel effect yeah so i think odin the immune to cancel effect was he is immune to guard break immunity cancel so you cannot cancel the guard break immunity so i think he can be one of those characters who uh, who cannot be guard break penetrated even with even if you have uh, some skills like probably I don't remember I have not tested with gene tier gene fifth skill if if that work or not but it can really be a really good opportunity for him to shine in PvP and I really think I to be honest I really think in inside from inside me that they are gonna be going the PvP way because they also know how they're gonna go for how they have gone through all those characters for abx and stuff and odin does not really have any more value in abx as i can see so my bet is definitely they are going to be going into uh two of straight pvp mode which will make him top tier uh probably hopefully god tier because he is the all god he, the all god the all father odin i mean just tell me one character that has 60 percent 
skill damage and 42% bonus damage. It is probably the highest, I think, the skill damage and bonus damage increase from the tier 2 passive in the game. And the uniform will actually just amplify it and we will see how the tier 3 skill is gonna work and the tier 3 stat boost because the tier 3 stat boost is actually more than the actual tier 3 because the actual tier 3 will get charged up, will get be will be used probably once in a fight right uh, in pvp modes although the skills and the stats are the are the main key key functions that actually keep the character alive and make the character unbeatable or make the character unkillable right so that's that's how it goes talking about red red hulk we have been talking about it from the beginning of the time since the pre-update apk launched since the live live stream uh, launched when we saw because there was no live stream for red hulk uniform although we got in we went to the marvel.com page and we had the marvel feature fight post where it has declared that red hulk is gonna get a new uniform well now he is gonna get a new uniform the venom symbiote and the Ghost Rider where he where he combined with a Venom Symbiote and with Ghost Rider as well combining making a new all new different character uh, I don't remember what the name of the character is I don't I don't even know if any of the other other players know the name of the character so if you guys know the name of the character of the red hulk uniform that he's gonna get uh, comment down below in the comment section definitely let me know what the name of the character will be i think i saw a post on reddit which was saying i think vengeance of something i think symbiote of vengeance or something like that it it's it looks and it sounds really good although i i am really more excited i'm not excited the look actually i know the look how it's gonna look because we have it on the in-game banner uh when in-game open screen when you when you just tap the tap the game the thing that i'm excited about red hulk is that what direction what are they gonna do to red hulk because there are so many possibilities that he can he could be a support character for the combat villain abx if he remains a villain i just uh, having a feeling that he might become a villain he might remain a villain uh, we will see how it goes because netmarble actually can definitely differ and vary a lot of stuff and can change a lot of stuff uh depending on the villain and hero hero things so i'm really excited of uh, and also i am excited about what route are they gonna go for red hulk i mean yeah i mean it's it's kind of weird we have a character that has just been used for his leadership for namor uh, mainly on that and this uniform came out long back ago and it make it made him really good in a, in a certain pve game mode he was one of the first character to actually kill sharon rogers pretty easily uh, and he was actually uh, meta for for like little little time for tamil meta Although, this is the main use of the character, apart from Shadowlands, right? From Shadowlands, apart from Shadowlands, it is the new character. So, are they gonna make him meta anywhere? Are they gonna make him a lead plus support? Are they gonna make him a PvP support? Are they gonna make him... I don't know what. <laughs> so, because it has Symbiote, it has Ghost Shadow in it, it has Red Hulk in it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about that. So, let me know what you think about the video. Let me know what you think about the all these changes gonna be coming in couple of days, in four days timer. They have not suggested, they have not told the exact same time when the event is gonna drop or the patch is gonna drop. But we will see how it goes. It is probably gonna be a mid-month patch. So it could be during the daytime for me, definitely before the daily reset or it could be after the daily reset. So just let me know what you think about that. And as always, if you like the content, I hope to see you again. Take care. See ya. This is Hyping.